Hello guys, today's video we try to see how to buy at a discount and what does what does it mean this idea of buying at discount or some people they call it uh, buying from the dip or buying from the bottom or buying from the support line all this what you hear are correct um, words that the people in stock market are using okay and most of the time um, this opportunity it doesn't come each year you should wait many years until you get this so in order to understand this idea we try to see the Dow Jones ETF and I will try to explain this idea into details okay so let's go to the uh, chart okay now you see the chart here the chart that I always showed you before even the, the correction happens I was doing videos all the whole year covering all what did what did happen here now so what does it mean this buying at the dip now a lot of people buy like let's say here 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 and you ask yourself how do they know that the stock the stock market will reverse it's just because they see that the stock after one day two day three it's going up okay but the problem of last year there are a lot of short trends and then we have a trend that it is for three months i have showed you this i have traded this and then the market was so bad and then we enter to a bear market it means this is the most important thing that i'm speaking about now is this one here where the stock market was shorted for a long time and then it reverses now in order to to see uh, for example the years I will show you the years so what you should do to the chart you should go from daily and put uh, yearly it means I, what, what you see here all these days that you see are days it means each candlestick that you see is a day and what did happen in the day so in order to understand change this de uh, daily you click that you go here and you put it yearly now you look here I will ex explain this is very simple idea okay you see for example the year 2000 2001 2002 we have a dip here from 11,000 it goes to 9,600 from uh, uh, 10,000 it goes to 800 8,000 uh, from 10,000 it goes to 7,000 now these years most of the time the market uh, goes down for one year but this sometimes it is an exception when we have three day, three years and it didn't happen here there is another uh, dip which is not that big from 10,700 it goes to 10,000 okay there is the big dip in 2008 so after the 2008 there is another dip in 2009 but since the market has been going up you see the you see the uh, uh, green candlestick now people who want to invest for the long run it means people who are investing they are looking for this year's and they double or they triple their investment and this is how they can make a lot of money by buying at a discount okay and then if the market is going up they will be making a lot of money now we have this year also which is uh, 2015 we have a dip for the Dow Jones at 15,370 dollars 33 cents we have the dip of yesterday of last year 2018 where the whole market was going down what was with the correction it's just a small correction 
And what do you mean by correction? It is uh, a red candlestick after many green candlesticks. It could be one, it could be two, it could be three. Here, for example, we have five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six years in the row, it, they were excellent. Then we have a year that it is a little bad. Okay? So, if you are an investor, you should not just sell because the market has been going down but you should instead buy which is the opposite so beginners they sell and they are scared but big investors they buy more okay now how do we get this uh, red candlestick for last year and green candlestick of, of this year uh, how do you get that okay so in order to understand this uh you should go to the setting in order to understand why we have red than green. It means if the close here is lower than the price of today, this, can, this should be green. Because the setting that you have done to your chart is this. So you go to the setting, go to plot size, and you see that, you see here, color based on net change now what does it mean net change it means it is based on the open versus close so when we have when we have uh, uh, up bars they are green you can put any color okay you can change the colors as you like now for me i like red and green this is this is what i use but some people they, you can use any you can change uh, yellow for example for good years Okay, but uh, you know, uh, for me, I get used uh, many years, so I use uh, green for going up, red for going down. Okay, what is the most important thing you should do in this setting is open versus close. It means, it means that you should always think about the close of yesterday and and what is the price now? Because the price of now changes. That's why it is green. Now, if uh, I uh, change it to net change, there is no, no nothing, okay? Let's see here. Now, if you change this, open to close, there is nothing, okay? So why is that? Is that because the, the price is always going up going up going up in each candlestick so you will never see something else instead the 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 only thing that you see is changing if this year was going down like this year and this year and this year it opens okay from the like the second of january and the end of the year, which is 31st of December. So always pay attention to uh, leave this, okay? Leave this as it is. So here, it is net change. So you just leave it as it is. Now, if you change to uh, daily, okay? change to daily and then <clears throat> you say open open to close first close okay so do you uh, do you see for example this candlestick here okay this candlestick here we don't compare this to this so because if we change here open to close if i change it to net change this becomes becomes red okay becomes red but if i put it open to close it becomes green so you leave it as net change okay because we want we want that we see one year to the second year now, how this is done in terms of price, uh, it's very, very simple. 
Okay, you should check, check the close of the day, which is twenty four thousand five hundred twenty eight. Here is twenty four thousand five hundred seventy nine, because the price is above yesterday uh, close. It is green. This and this is how you set your chart. Now, so we go back to yearly, just to uh, make sure you understand. Okay. Now, we will never know if this green of this year will continue to be green. That's why. That's why we will never know. But the idea about what I said is just when you see that the year is bad that is the year where you should buy more stocks for long investments i'm here i'm not speaking about just to buy for one year or two no here i'm i'm by uh, here we are thinking about investing for the long run whenever there is a red candlestick as you can see it means you should buy more this technique is for those who are buying for the long run. It is not a trade. So you should understand that. And you should, for example, <coughs> you should, for example, uh, let's say put the same price, put the same shares you bought each year, and you buy more in these red candlesticks, you will find that your investment has been better than when you buy just on the green candlestick. This is in general in the market. Now, uh, last year it was red. But understand that uh, that you see this this uh, uh, here, this uh, uh, tick here or this tail on the top that that the year was green before because because it goes above this candlestick here, which is twenty four thousand. This is the close. 24,719 but here is 24,800 so it is more so if the if, he, if last year it stays it stays above the close of last year it should be this should be green but unfortunately the stock market was going down and going down going down until we see the dip okay and this dip I have showed you uh, before, just when I say we are in a bear market. So do you remember when I say you are, we are in a bear market the last week of 2018? So I will, I will just show you this part here, the tick of last, the daily. Now, in order to understand uh, how this works you should put uh, in order to understand if it is green or uh, red you should see 2017 what is what is the the end price here 29 uh, 12 here uh, Tuesday 2nd January 2018 so this red candlestick you put a line this this line is this line here you, you just uh, you can just put the exact number because this is 29 december 2017 what you should do you should make a line this line is the close of close of 2017 so you put a vertical line here making the difference okay this is here 2017 this is here 2018 so any price that it is above last year uh, above 2017 close is becoming a green so here it's a green here it's a green 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 all this is green all this is green but whenever the market goes down it becomes red why because 2017 close 
is above these lows so these lows that you see here are the dip that you should buy from now since you don't know when when is the last dip so you should buy bit by bit if you are buying uh, each month or each two months or each three months but the last dip that we have seen is here which is 26 of December 2018 okay let's say let's see the wh what is the beginning of the year okay yes here is the here yes here is the end of uh, year 2018 now we are in 2000 2019 now why do we see the yearly for this year as green because i told you this is the line this is the line okay and what is the close of uh, 2018 because this is the close of uh, this is the close of uh, uh, of 2017 okay now we make another close here which is let me see which is the 20 no yeah here this is the candlestick which is i will give you the date because it's too exact it is december 31st 2018 which is on monday because the year uh, begins on wednesday okay uh, because on Tuesday, which is uh, the 1st January, where we have the holiday. Okay? So, Monday, 31st, is the end or the close of the year. That's why, that's why, 2018 was red. And since it goes up, and now we are in 2019. And you see, 2019 are above this level, which is 2000, uh, which is 2018. So, in order to understand what I'm saying, is always <coughs> try to make the close of yesterday of last year, and you compare it with with the price of now. The price of now is going up, but last year it was down it was the dip of last year okay so which year you should you should buy you should buy w where there is the dip in ho the whole year of 2018 especially the end of uh, uh, the end of 2018 now as you can see now this year is green okay 2019 but we will never know it is green uh, it means for sure until we go to the next year which is 2020 okay because we should make the line where it closes and then we should see the year and if you change here to the yearly you should see that okay this is the yearly you should see that this line is the end uh, is the close of 2017 that's why here it is red which is in 2018 because the stock market has gone down and now because this line here is 2018 close and uh, it is lower than the price of now that's why this year is green but it is green now we will never know does this year will continue to go up to go up to go up to from, let's say from 25 27 30 we, we will never know and it will be the best year as 2019 or it will go down go down go down and we have a second uh what we call second uh bear year it means where the stock market goes down so we will never know now in this stock market 
you should always have if you, if you are going to be an investor you should look at the at the uh, at the whole years you don't see uh, one year by one year but when there is an opportunity to buy more you should buy more because investing is something is a habit and those people who invest they invest all the time they don't invest one year and they stop okay so you can invest in, in, in every year and then if it is bad year you invest more don't be scared because the market can go up it can go down and uh, this is just an opportunity to buy at the dip okay so um, hope this is not too long but understand that this I'm speaking about 10 years 20 years 30 years if you are young okay um, uh, this thing is about the whole market that's why for example look for example at 2008 Warren Buffett who is one of the best known investors in the world he did not sell any share they he didn't sell although in 2008 stock market has has uh, has lost 50 percent of its value it means in 2015 and 2008 if you have for example 100,000 in your 401k for example you end up looking at your account at 50,000 so 50,000 has been lost so the people some people they get scared some they stop investing some they get scared and they sold and they make it worse for themselves but after a few years one year was bad but after a few years your fifty thousand dollars could be 200 or 300 now okay so don't put yourself into a situation where you think about one year if, if it is bad you sell everything this is not a strategy for the long investors okay so here in general I'm speaking about long investors I'm not speaking about swing trading or about day trading you buy you sell you buy you sell okay so here I'm speaking about the general mood of the market okay so thank you very much for uh, watching please if you have more questions about this this is very very deep uh, techniques into investing and a lot of people who know about investing they are doing the same technique thank you very much and see you next video